Hi everybody out there in cyberspace. This time on Video Game Sheriff, I'm going to be testing out this uh, Super uh, Nintendo arcade stick that was made back in the 90s from uh, ASCII, ASCIiWare. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm, I gave it a, you know a little warm up. You'll see here's some footage of me playing uh, Super Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo. So let's uh, let's get straight to the footage. Here. All right, enjoy. Yeah, so there I'm uh, just loading up the game. So yeah, so this was like pretty much brand new. This controller. Um, it's uh, it was in the box and everything. I, I don't even think it was ever used, or if it was used, it was maybe uh, re returned to the store right away back in the day. I mean, it's was in brand new condition. Um, clearly, the store owner got it for like ten dollars or so. At least that's the sticker he has on there. And then over top of that sticker, he had forty dollars, kind of just to show off. They do that sometimes, but it's still a reasonable deal for this quality of uh, stick. Um, you know, so yeah, here I am playing, trying to play with Ken. I had a lot of trouble because I was not used to this stick yet. You know, a lot of times when you get these arcade sticks, I find except for Sega, because Sega sticks, like my Saturn Sega stick, I also have here. I can, you can see that Sega stick there. So that that actually feels a lot like the arcade did in like the '90s and so on. And that it's easy to use for me because that's what I usually have as my base standard for quality for arcade stick. But anything else, I always have to have a sort of time of getting used to it. So my Street Fighter skills here are—I'm not sure. I haven't—I don't play that as often these days. But I think they're actually a little bit better. It doesn't really matter, but a little bit better than what you see in the video because I'm not—I wasn't really used to the stick. By the end, I was kind of starting to get used to it, but I was playing at a high level that, you know, like, it was too difficult to catch up. But I realized that the stick kind of feels like I'm going to break it, even though I'm not. It, 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 it actually, when you push harder on this kind of stick, this uh, this style, for whatever reason, it works better. Like it, it's a kind of stick that needs you to be more aggressive. Uh, whereas, for example, a more recent stick had the opposite. Um, sort of effect. The uh, stick from um, uh, the, the Capcom vs. Tatsunoko stick I have as well. Uh, sometimes you may, you may have seen the box in the background. But um, that stick, uh, it's more very sensitive and click, kind of clicky, like clicky. And that's like the more the re more modern kinds of arcade sticks for home are more that style, this clicky style. And for this clicky style, I found it had the opposite problem. If I'm too aggressive, it, it couldn't play with it very well. It couldn't get my moves out and, and so on. But if I'm, but if I'm really um, just sort of precise and gentle with it, yeah, if I'm gentle, was what I found. Then I could, then I could play. And I wasn't really used to that. It reminded me of the uh, little click stick on the Neo Geo Pocket, uh, your Neo Geo Pocket Color, um, which is I find a whole different feeling. People do compare it to the arcade, and I suppose there is, you know, that aspect to it. But it, it's. Um, to me a different feeling and a different style which is it's all it's a different thing of its own and you have to kind of get accustomed to it and it's fun i also have an arcade stick from my xbox my og xbox here it's a uh, it's not a very attractive looking it's a little bit tacky looking but it's actually uh it's also got a whole style of its own it's kind of it's a clicky but it's not overly um uh touchy like you don't have to be so gentle on it you can be a little bit firmer on it but it's not as you know firm as like a uh, more of like a standard arcade stick and I like the the Sega one is like a standard arcade stick and then this arcade stick for the SNES that I'm testing out with this game here uh, with Super Street Fighter uh, Turbo playing as Cammy here against the Van Jeef. Um this this stick is uh, even you have to push even more than a regular arcade stick from the arcade in the night so it was actually stiffer than the arcade which is quite unusual. Usually you find stuff it's not as stiff as the arcade and Sega was the one who could make it you know as 
you know, if you have that more of that real arcade feel for the time. But this is actually even hard, harder stick, and that it's, it's, I find it straight. I, I feel like afraid to push on it too hard. That I'm gonna snap it because it requires so much push on it. But um, I, by the end, I, was, I realized no, it's it's not gonna snap. It's not gonna snap. It just I think it's the angle here. It's kind of tall and thin. You feel like you're gonna snap it, but you realize look at the way it's tapered. It's actually strong at the bottom, so it won't break if you go hard on it. So I have to just kind of break it in and leave it a bit more. This was the first, you know, try at it with this game. And I still was able to win, you know, barely. Uh, not as well as I, I usually play the game, but as you, as you can see. So yeah, you see, I just keep going through uh, classic Super Street Fighter 2 uh, turbo action. Uh, yeah, so overall, I would say it's got a pretty nice build to it. You know, yeah, it's a really nice quality feel. It doesn't feel cheap, too cheap, but it also it doesn't feel highly expensive. And so I feel like I kind of got what I paid for, but maybe even a little better. It's classic. It's original. You know, from the time. It's pretty much brand new. It's got a you know, it's it's got some weight to it. It's not super heavy or anything, but it's definitely not light feeling. It doesn't doesn't feel cheap. Um, you know. Uh, has a bunch of turbo settings and stuff to play with, which is always fun. Uh, it's, it's perfect for fighting games. I think that's what it's made for. Uh, and you can play other arcade-style games well, with it. You can play pretty much any game, really. Uh, but yeah, I think like for games like Killer Instinct or Street Fighter 2 or uh, Mortal Kombat, games like that, it works. Even uh, some side-scroller beat-em-ups like uh, Final Fight, Final Fight 2, uh, TMNT. Turtles in Time, uh, yeah, games like that you can play on on the uh, Super Nintendo. Yeah, so uh, yeah, overall, I, mean, I think it's I think it was a good find. I guess it's not it was not a the thing I had a lot of trouble with at the beginning is the width of this thing isn't very wide because you know when you look at you know usual sticks the the one that I, I did have back in the day or I think I, for yeah we had at one point the, the Capcom stick it's like a lot wider it's harder to find and it's also a lot more expensive well actually I don't know if it's harder to find because I've, I've never really seen this much either but it's definitely a lot more expensive and it's full width even on your lap you get a real feeling of an arcade whereas this I felt like I couldn't really get a hang of it on my lap or something it was didn't feel right I needed like a little table or something um, I've got this really neat thing you can uh, put it on your lap I don't know if you've ever seen one of these it's from like a long time ago. This is also, I think, from the '90s, perhaps. But yeah, you can put it on your on your lap. I'm sure, they cut. They still sell them today. And it's like it conforms to your lap, but then the top is flat, so you can use it like a you can use it like a little table like that. So that kind of works. Or use a little table. I have a little table here where my mic is. That works as well. That's what I would usually use. But now I have that little thing I found in my dad's garage. So yeah. So then after I was going against Kenny Keep keeps kicking my ass because you know Ken's a pretty tough character um, I still hadn't had the hanging of it I was like getting a little bit you know uptight because oh Ken is a lot faster and more aggressive in the game is particularly if you know about the game it's balanced it's pretty balanced but Ken is a little bit strong on the strong side but that, that's not even the point usually I would be able to beat him but uh, <laughs> I wasn't pushing hard enough on the stick and under the pressure of going against harder character as like I was really not pulling it off at all. So, uh, like here, yeah, you can see I still get some moves in. Obviously, I don't, you don't get totally cream, but I, at the end, you sh I should have no chance, and I'm just like, like uh, screw you. But you can watch here. See, I actually get a few of those uh, air throws in, which are pretty tough to get. And so it looks like I have some hope in there, and you can see. But yeah, just to say that, as as often for me at least, uh, a lot of these. Arcade sticks it takes a while to get used to. You have to figure out the right setup. Like I said with the table, I remember with the Capcom versus Tatsunoko, I just couldn't get it right the first like three or four times I think I tried to use it, and I was like, "Dad, like this is not cracked up a lot what it, what it was cracked up to be. You know, this is not as good as it seemed. It seemed like a really good, high quality, professional, modern stick um, and everything, but I couldn't play with it properly. Not as good as I usually play it. I didn't get it, and then it wasn't like until they could get me fifth or sixth time, maybe seventh time I used it, that I realized, oh, you have to go gently 
on it. When you go gently, it works perfectly. So then I realize it's a totally different style, like the Neo Geo Pop Color, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so you just have to learn how to adjust with each stick, learn, learn how each stick works in its own. You gotta get a feel for each one and then, you know, adapt to each stick when, once you get to it. But until you learn the way that particular stick works, you, you might not play as good as you usually do. So that's the thing. Here's some bonus footage I put at the end uh, uh, of me just messing around uh, a little bit more with Cami going against Chun-Li. Just a little more fun here. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I think it's actually a really good quality stick. The ASCII wear Fighter Stick SN, it's called. Uh, yeah, I'd give it like, I'd give it a, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10 just for being a little bit weird. Like an unusual issue of you having to push harder than usual. Usually it's the opposite problem. You, you, it's not stiff enough. This one's like almost too stiff and you feel like you're going to crack it if you keep pushing it any harder. But if you don't push it any harder, it's not sensitive enough. So so I think I think once you break it in, this is probably more, maybe I'll give it more of an 8. You know, Yeah, more of an 8. Cause, but because of the width, that's another thing. That's another problem because, like I was saying earlier, maybe it is a 7.5 because in, by design, the width here, you know, it's not quite wide enough. So you don't get that sort of grip on it that you need to really push it while being able to attack the buttons with the right inclined from your arm the right like leverage if you want to put it that way because you, your, your hands are so forced close together from the from the at least for my my have large i don't know if i have larger hands or medium sized hands but anyway so uh yeah so yeah i'd say seven and a half it's a really good solid quality stick i i recommend it if you find it pick it up Especially if you don't have the uh, Capcom one, especially since that's not so easy to find these days. So yeah, so that's been the video game share. I'll check you out next time from ProductionHackers.net. Peace.